Hey everyone, this is Scott from Orbital Pen, and I wanted to go ahead and walk you through strategy uh, on how you can get all the way through Diablo, how you can find your way to Malfeel and ho hopefully take him down. Um, and what I'm going to talk through is the different strategy and the process of doing that. Uh, you'll see some of this detail on the rules card, but there's actually quite a bit more information uh, that, that uh, you know, as a player you learn. Uh, but I'll go ahead and give you a shortcut. Uh, so the way you're going to do this, the way this game works, is it is a four-player collaborative game. And what that means is that uh, if you all four get in there, if someone's able to get through the first act and maybe kill the first boss, uh, then the second player will be able to continue uh, and go into act two uh, and then try to beat the act two boss. And each of those... Uh, each of those acts are going to get uh, more difficult. The bosses are going to get more difficult. So a big part of that is making sure that you are powering up skills as well as bashes and uh, leveling your character up. So um, we're actually looking at this on a previous release. Then probably what you're looking at the top here, it says gems zero. That's going to say level uh, zero now. And how you level up are, are by the lane targets at the top. So they will say XP uh, on them. And each time that you fill up all three of those, it's going to level your character up. This does not level up the next player. So you can have a weak player uh, and you get, to, you get to the fourth boss and they're just too wussy to make it very far. So you need to make sure that you're always moving those lane targets. And that's going to be something that you're going to want to do and make sure you focus on on all aspects of this game. The lane targets, uh, both the bottom lanes uh, where it says quest and the top lanes uh, where it'll say XP are very important. So the top lanes, those XP, that's going to move you up levels. Uh, each level you go up, your player is going to hit stronger and stronger. Uh, and as the bosses get stronger and stronger, uh, you're obviously going to need those levels. On the quest at the bottom, if you light all those up, you're going to get an instant add a ball. So that's an add a ball at any time. Um, so whenever, uh, you know, a, a good strategy is to go ahead and try to hit your ramps, move your lights, get your add a ball in, and then start going after some of these more difficult things. Uh, so to start an act, you're going to hit the uh, hit the crate here, hit the epic chest, uh, or actually resplendent chest. So you're going to hit that to knock the wall down, uh, and then you're also going to hit it in there to start the act. Now uh, you'll notice at the top on the skill shot, the center one will be lit. If you hit that, not only will you get a million points, but you will also take the gate down instantly. Uh, so that'll cut one of the steps out of that process. You notice here right now, this purple that's going on, that is Malthiel's lightning uh, and push skills. So if you hit it anywhere near those, there's actually turntables and force fields in there that we're going to chuck the ball right back down at you. He doesn't like you. He doesn't want you to win. So if you've got the ball and you see that lightning happening, I would chill out and just stall it for a bit until it goes away and then start uh, going after uh, him again. All right. So now let's say that we've gotten onto a boss. Now on a boss or even in an act, if you get a bash hit, which is over here, light all these uh, bash targets to get a bash hit, that's going to take an XP, a critical XP hit on the boss, which depending on your skill, it's a multiplier, depending on your skill, will hit them for a certain amount. Same with, uh, I mean, depending on your level. Uh, but then you can also do a skill attack, which is going to be your magic. And it's similar. It's going to be a multiplier based on uh, your your current level and that's really I mean those are gonna crush so you really want to do that you really want to make sure you're hitting those uh, each boss that you fight is going to change the play field the lights are going to change to a different color this will cue you in to that boss's weakness I'll go ahead and let you know that the butcher hates the top bumpers you'll see butcher is red uh, when you fight butcher he's the first boss uh, when you fight butcher the table will go red, the bumpers will go red. 
right? Uh, on the next one, it's going to go yellow. So I will, you can start to try to get the idea of what we're going there. Um, and as you fight them, all the lights, you're going to have not only critical hits up here, so those will uh, light your lights for critical hits. So you want to watch where those are at. That's going to you know, obviously hurt the boss a lot. Uh, and then you're also going to have standard shots uh, that throughout the play field that will help, but they will have a weakness. That's not going to be terribly obvious. It's going to be color-based, so start looking for those things. Uh, and those are going to be worth big hits. Uh, it's going to be similar on the DMD to Attack from Mars, where you will get to see their life. Now here's a Little thing that's different is their life will regen if you're not hitting them. So if if you're as you get higher up on the bosses, they're going to get their health back faster and faster and faster. Um, so you have to keep attacking them, or they will find their way back to 100% health if you're just holding the ball and stalling. So uh, this isn't one of those games where you just hold all your balls on one flipper and just sit there and chill and hit uh, jackpots. You do have to actively uh, hit them, go after them, or they will just get their life back. So that's how you play this game. Uh, if you can make it all the way to uh, Quest 5, Act 5, and then start the fight against Malthiel, beat Malthiel, you don't actually beat him, beat him you send him back to hell. Uh, and But uh, if you can go ahead and knock him out, you'll get a big long ending scene. Take a picture with your phone of that, send it to me. Uh, first person to do that and send, post it to Orbital Pin during the, uh, we're currently having a tournament here in Denver. If the tournament's gone, then you can disregard this, but during the tournament, if you can send that uh, and, and get it done, then uh, 50 bucks will find its way to you via PayPal. So I hope that helps. Uh, let me know your feedback and your thoughts. Really excited you guys are playing the game uh, and uh, look forward to seeing someone send Matthew back to hell. All right, thanks.